Hey guys, and welcome to Alpha Protocol. It's going to be our next Let's Play. It's kind of a strategic FPS. I'm thinking of it kind of like um, Splinter Cell mixed with like Fable or something. Where there is a linear story, but how you treat people and how people f and what people think about you um, will change um, the resulting outcomes. So if someone hates you, it will have very minimal effects on the story than if someone really likes you. Um, so we will just head right into the game. Um, we are going to play a normal, but we're going to kind of handicap ourselves further. Um, so there's several class you can play: soldier, generic soldier, good at submachine guns, rifles, um, field agent, good at stealth, martial arts, tech specialist, good at sabotage, that's like. And then you have your freelancer, which is just like a blank slate. You can put by whatever skills you want, um, scale them up how you want. But we're actually going to play is the recruit. The recruit is pretty much like a brand new agent. He has no experience, no skills. He doesn't really have anything to speak of. So kind of, we'll do it. We'll give us a more, um, I think interesting gameplay so the games kinda has a lot of politics included in it um, it's kind of about secret agencies and how they treat the people not to spoil anything but about intelligence and espionage and spies in general. So here we just have a commercial airliner and a rocket apparently. So our commercial airliner takes off, normal day and everything. Hundred hundred of people aboard. Until things go kinda bad for the Airplane. I think this actually makes it more interesting considering um, what just happened in the news with the um, plane being lost totally and the amount of time and resources we put to try and find it and figure out what happened. So, this is a very similar political situation, however, we know that obviously something really wrong happened. So, very political in nature, and very interesting. A lot of repercussions. If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. Okay, so now we're going to the past. Three months ago, the gray box. Location classified. They drugged me? Great. Now I'm gonna fail the next drug screening test. They could have just asked me to close my eyes. Okay, so here's us, Michael Thornton. Um, we're in some kind of med bay, PDA. Maybe it'll give us some information on why we're here, what we're doing. Good, you're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm still coming down. What? Ugh, never mind. Just clearing my head. The dose is pretty strong. I'm surprised you're even able to stand. I'll talk about this afterwards. I don't think we've met... Mina. And the static on the screen is interference, not the drugs. Too bad. Static's a good look for you. 
So. Thank you. If flattery is your only weapon, you'll need a gun. And fast. Well, I don't want to wear out my welcome. All the more reason to leave. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... I'll think of something. Let me check the room. There's got to be another way out. All right, then. Don't take too long. The door's okay. locked down. But you might be able to find a way to break the glass. So what I did there is I picked... You can kind of create your own um, personality for your character. But what I did there is I p picked suave over professional. Uh, the reason I did that is... Um, if you look at a service record for saying suave in that thing, we got a perk. So, you're showing your suave side in your earliest conversations. So, you get a reduced cooldown to all abilities. So, saying certain things in certain conversations um, will give you, we'll say, bonuses for the entire game. I don't have them all memorized, I just know some of them from what I can remember. I haven't played this game in probably a little while. I don't want to throw the fire extinguisher. Can't I just open the door normally? In case of emergency. Yeah, it was. I did it. Got it. Guess Sleeping Beauty's had enough. That you might. You just hold on. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. Cause I was gonna say I would have done it a little bit sneakier. Cause I'm kinda would prefer the sneaky thing, but guess if you can't be sneaky. You need to shut off the alarm. Oh the wait. on the wall. So, so this is one of the mini games in one of the main mini games. Um pretty much just you just trace the circuits. It's Bypass pretty on simple. It. So one there, you follow it, two's here, you follow the thing. Okay, we don't it's that one. And four is here. Trace circuit. So it's pretty careful. simple. They probably have a guard in the lobby. Okay. So if you you guys to get bonuses from now on for being stealthy, at least in this mission. So So we can perform a takedown. We can't pick up his guard, but luckily there's a gun right here. Okay, so this is a tranquilizer pistol. You get these throughout the game, and you can use them if you want to be quiet. Um, in the actual game, they're not that great. So what we're going to do is, we're going to sneak up on them, because if we can take them down normally, I will. Oh shit. Ah, there you Sorry, I screwed that up. Well quickly just redo that one. I wanna show you guys what happens if you do it quietly. You actually got I screwed it up, I totally forgot. Um you need to get a headshot with the tranquilizer pistol to take someone out in one shot. That was my bad. But now now I've gotta show you what you guys can do much quicker. <laughs> The tranquilizer pistol isn't super accurate, so I'll hit him from here. Though, see, shot him in the head, and we didn't um, like set off any alarms. So you have to go for the headshots. This is a med cupboard. If we're hurt, we could use the poor health. Well, maybe it will still let us know. It won't even let us use it. So we'll open that door, and we can go in here. Take down this guard. Drop him. And we will continue. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. So guys, I had a brief interruption there, but we will continue. So the camera just goes back and forth, so you just walk right by the camera. 
simple as pie. Okay. So we have two guys here. How did you wake up so fast? You just got here. Who cares? We'll just put him under again. So we need to take to get both guards or sneak past them. Do not want to set off any alarms. So we get our bonus. Interesting. That guy. There you go. Both guys took a doubt. Um, one thing, oops, we shouldn't do that because it's loud, but, well. One thing you can do is you can search for people's dossiers. There is one, it's probably in that alternate area. Just make sure there's nothing else here we need or want. Oops. We keep being loud. You generally just want to use space rather than the other but that's a ammo. I swear there's a dossier here though. That we can have. I swear there is. Give me a second to find it. I swear it's here. I will check one more time. Guess not. Oh, what's that? No, nothing. Huh? Maybe it's in a room further on then. Thought it was in this room. Okay, so that's another room cleared, silently. Almost gave me the slip. Now we got you. That happens no matter what happens. So lock picking is very simple, you just line up the pins. So line up. Okay, this is one where it's kind of more helpful to stay out of sight than try to take out all the guards. Um, so the special ability, I'll show you. Oops, sorry. Oh, what's the key for it? Sorry. I apologize. R, E, Q. Q. So if you pass it, this ability shows you where all the guards are. So. It tells us they're uh, be they're facing as well. The only thing this game doesn't have is any ability to hide bodies. So like that body's gonna be there until well, I guess pretty much forever. So you have to be really careful when you take people out. Ultimately, sneaking isn't like a be all end all skill in this game. It's kind of broken, but it can be useful in situations. So there's a so now we have a camera and a thing. So this is the only system that really makes um, stealth hard 
is this system. How it works is you gotta compare two numbers, but um, one you're using the mouse, the other you're using the keyboard, and the mouse tends to kind of jump around. So, so we know one is here. And See, the mouse kind of tends to jump Into around. The line, Mike. Give it up. So we can take that guard out. There's an item there we can pick up. Let's do sneak in, sneak out. And then we got a DOS here as well in that file. And there we go. All right, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going so on? Why did you drop XP we for not location of this facility? Give them any alarms. Especially if you get kidnapped. So if we pick questioned. recruit, we get a this place a bonus hidden? here. Very. Not only does this place not exist, but places that think they know about this place, well, they don't exist either. Or maybe that's the that's next one. That's a little. Confusing. <laughs> Hell of a lot easier than politics. Let me guess. You're not done hazing me yet. Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk. Face to face. That make you feel better? I'm ready. What tests? Not a physical, if that's what you're thinking. No, I figured that was all done while I was unconscious. And then some. We ran your blood work, checked your vitals, you seem healthy. Just one thing we should check. Your psych profile. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Although with your experience, it's more like a pamphlet. Fresh out of Langley, we had to wipe behind your ears before shipping you over. I think I've got potential, sir, and I'm anxious to prove we'll it. We'll see. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pin here and meet the rest of the crew. So All right. I don't think Was we got anything any I should know. Nothing you there. can't find out on your own and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Great. Just like high school. Take some tests, then chat with the guidance counselor about my future. There we go. Well, we will call it here, guys, and we'll be back in the next episode of Alpha Protocol. See you in a bit.